Hello again and welcome to another Hairy Golfer video. Um, please like, share and subscribe. I, I don't often say that because you know where the buttons are underneath the videos and uh, you know how to use them. But it, it would be a help if a few of the people who watch without subscribing would, would help me out on my way to becoming a slightly bigger channel. Now something different today, bogey holes. Now if you're a club golfer and you're playing 50, 60 or even 100 rounds a year like myself on your own course, you're going to get holes that you have trouble with from time to time. And I'm not talking about the 465 yard par 4. We all have trouble with that, even if you're a scratch golfer. I'm, I'm talking about holes where for some reason or another you stand on the tee box, you've got no confidence, you've hit it in the trees on the left three times on the trot and you don't seem to be able to get out of the habit. And the way to get out of those habits is to change what you're doing. Even if it's only temporary, even if it's only for two or three rounds, go to the other side of the tee box, aim in a different direction, take a different club, do something different, anything to get you out of that thinking that when you walk onto the tee, you're going, oh my word, I've been in the trees three times running, I'm gonna go in the trees again. And you get so anxious that You've, you you pre-program that thought of going in the trees. So if you can change what you're doing, just for those few holes, even on a temporary basis, then you might solve your problem. And I'm going to try and solve my problems tonight. Now I've brought some uh, pickups from out the roof, so if it all goes wrong, I'm not losing decent balls. So uh, let's get down to the first tee and I'll show you my first problem and how I think I'm going to tackle it. Although I think the wind direction isn't good for what I'm planning, but you can't uh, legislate for the wind, you just got to get on with it. See you in a moment. First hole, playing the white tees today. Now I would normally tee up on the right and then try and little fade this three wood. But it hasn't been going well. I've been skanking it in the tree on the trees on the right. If I actually hit it properly, I'm hooking it. So this time I'm teeing up over on the left and I'm going for the little draw. Now this finishes in the left rough by about five or six feet. But I got a clear shot at the green for a change, so one up for me on that one. Now in the winter, the winter tee is over there on the left over by my golf bag and you've got to hit a hook. Now I don't tend to have too many troubles here, but again, I'm going to try it on the left here and try and hit a bigger draw. It didn't quite come off, I just hit a straight shot up the right hand side. But that came back into the middle of the fairway and I got a bird off that. Third hole. Usually I'm forward there on the next set of tees with a four iron on the right hand side hitting a fade and that hasn't worked so being back here and into the wind I've taken the five wood come over to the left and gone for that one yard draw and it's absolutely perfect. And here we are on the sixth again the same problem I seem to be struggling to hit that fade that I normally hit. So um, let's try getting right over to the left, get a different look down the hole. And again, see if I can draw this. Although the wind is into and a little off the left, so this is going to be a bit awkward. Got to hold it up against this breeze. And as you can see, I'm swinging a lot better. The, I'm swinging pain-free and no, not so stiff anymore. So I'm getting these shots that I'm trying. Right, 10th, same issue here again, with the three wood, unable to fade it, skanked it a couple of times in the trees on the right, and then started hitting pulls at the left. So the wind is into and off the right quarter, just wait for this runner to go past. I'm simply going to take the driver and try and slice the nuts at it. I'm aiming up at the fir trees in the middle of the picture, which are actually in the left-hand rough, 60 or 70 yards short of the green. I'm just going to pound it at them and just fade it. And this new driver is much easier to fade. 
Perhaps I should have had the same shaft in the three wood. But again, an absolutely perfect shot for me. Thought we'd enjoy a bit of sunshine. You won't believe how heavy the rain has been today and the hail and the thunderstorm that came over at 3 p.m. By the time I've teed off, it's like this, glorious. So what you see me do is go to the other side of the tee, get a different look at a particular hole that I have been struggling to get off the tee with. And you've seen it, you've seen how I've struggled on the third, on the, on the first, either skanking it into the trees on the right or pulling it into the trees on the left. Same as the 10th, a simple, what, 305, 310 yard hole and I can't find the fairway. So by doing something different, it's about flushing the negative thoughts because you're looking at something else. You're trying to achieve something else. And it doesn't matter if you do this for three or four rounds and then go back to your normal shot your normal side of the tee the normal club that you take but it's about getting rid of those negative thoughts now there's only one more for me to show you really i mean i don't have any problems with 13 14 behind me all right it's an awkward tee shot but i don't have any particular problems with it 15 is just long and i generally hit the fairway off 15 so that's not a problem 16 isn't a problem 18 isn't a problem so that just leaves 17. now it's going to be into the evening sun again so what you see on the camera is going to look a bit crap really but um let me talk you through my fears and my mistakes that i'm making on that hole when we get there so let me go and play these three holes and i'll see you on the 17th in a mo right let's enjoy the walk up to number 17. now i do have my problems with 17 but i don't tend to have too many problems in the winter from the mat it's a little bit forward so it's shorter and the mat's offset to the left looking more down the throat of the hole and yet i've been teeing up let me stop because this thing must be making an annoying rattling noise. Oh, don't roll away. So I've been teeing up on the right and aiming down the left, as you would think is a really good idea with the water on the right. But my better shots have been when the tee box has been over on the left. I've been looking down the throat of the green. So I'm going to change it up here. Instead of teeing up on the right and uh, aiming down the left for a fade, I'm going to tee up on the left and just take it on. And I've got some practice balls out of the rough, so if I drown a couple, it doesn't matter. Now, if you try this on your bogey holes, I'm not promising miracles are going to happen. But if you're double bogeying a, a hole of, say, 350 yards every time you play it because you can't get it in the fairway, a change isn't going to hurt you, is it? Go on, warms. Glasses are steaming up. So, you know, making a change for a couple of practice rounds in the evening to get rid of those bad thoughts isn't going to hurt you. So give it a go. Now let's see what I can do on 17. And uh, the boy's back. I'm only three over playing from the whites. So I don't want to drown a ball here. I'm actually under pressure, so I'm under real pressure here. I got a chance to beat my handicap for the first time off the white, so this is going to be genuine pressure on this tee. Let's see what I can do when we get there. Just going to continue the walk through the woods and the wild garlic. It does not smell nice this time of year. Well, there's the winter tee, forward and on the left, and unfortunately the white tees are over here on the right, so. I'm just going to plonk this down in the middle of the tee box as we're further back and there is still a bit of breeze up there I'm going with the five wood again and I'm going to try and replicate the shot I hit on the third 
So I just want to draw this to the left side of the green. Yeah, it looks like I'm set up okay. But that's just a tiny pull, but it wasn't out of fear. It was, that was a decent shot. Well, sometimes even the best laid plans don't go to plan. I've hit that in the bunker. I think I'm in the second bunker because I've taken the five wood from 208. I think I might have shouted it at the camera just, but I hit a decent shot. And that's a lot better shot than I have been hitting. So just by changing my perspective, changing my view. All right, I would have loved to have been over here on the left here, really looking down the green. But um, can't have everything. They put out the tee box and you've got to play it. So I hope that's been useful. I hope you can give it a try and, uh, you know, see how it goes. As I say, there's, there's no magic wand here, but it's, it's getting rid of the negative thoughts in here that you step onto a hole that you normally make a mess of. Go have a look at it from a different angle and hopefully you'll play it better. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got to the end, don't forget to subscribe because uh, I could use a little help, you know. And um, see you on the next one. Cheerio.